Hey guys, how's it going? So, um, today we are going to do a first impression, let's play a review of a game called Myth of Empires. As always, with all of my first impression and let's play reviews, I'm going to be playing the game for an hour or more until I am satisfied that I can give my opinion to you. If you are in a hurry and you don't want to watch the full one hour or more of the video, then you can simply skip to the last 10 minutes or so of the video. I will put the timestamp in the description below so that you know where that is. Uh, section is and in the last 10 minutes or so of the video I will give you my quick concise final opinion on the game and tell you whether or not I can recommend the game but if you're not in a hurry you can simply stay tuned and I will be playing the game and giving you my running commentary as we play through the game today so uh, the game is $30. The game is not currently available for purchase uh, for a very interesting reason. Uh, if you don't know the backstory behind this game, it has a, a funny little backstory. Uh, when I alt tab, first off, uh, the game loses all audio so let's alt tab quickly so that i can show you guys this over here so that's unfortunately already one thing that is not good about the game and that is the fact that the game uh loses audio when you when you alt tab so anyway uh this is the game so um one thing that should be noted is that they're having a, a playtest um, of the game right now. Uh, I am not part of the, the playtest. I have not requested um, to be part of the playtest at all. Uh, I have the, the actual uh, game. So I, I have the, the actual game. I can show you guys over here. So if you look over here, I have the actual game in my in my library. So um, just so that you guys know. So um, I have not requested to be part of the playtest. The game was on sale. It always used to be on sale. Let's just refresh these tabs. It always used to be on sale. And back when it was on sale, uh, back in 2001, November 2001. So that's almost three years ago, like two, two years and a little bit ago. The game was on sale for $30. You can see there the full price was $30. So it used to be on sale and then it got pulled from the stores. Now... The reason why it got pulled from Steam and from all sales platforms is because, uh, long story short, um, one of the developers from the studio that makes the ARC games from, from Sna Snail Games, uh, so Snail Games who makes the ARC games, one of those developers made a new studio or joined the studio uh angela game is the the studio's name so one of the developers or, or a couple of the developers i'm not too sure from snail games joined angela games and uh, they committed plagiarism and they committed uh copyright infringement because that developer from Snail Games who joined Angela Game uh, had a whole bunch of code. They, they somehow made a copy of the code, the engine code, from uh, one of the games that, that 
the one of the Ark games. I'm not sure if it's Ark Survivor Evolved or it's one of the other bunch of Ark games because there's a whole fucking bunch of the games. Uh, and they made this game, Myth of Empires. So they, they stole code from one of the Ark games and they created this game. And Snail Games, because they have millions and millions and millions of dollars, uh, sued and took to court Angela Game. And then uh, that is when the game was removed. Because as soon as uh, Steam or Valve received the um, court order or the or the it's essentially not a court order, it's like a cease and desist order type thing. Uh, then Valve removed the game from the stores. And since then, the game was dead, essentially. And now, recently, in October, the um, entire thing was resolved. But it wasn't resolved because... Um, it, it was proven that Angela Game did not steal the code. It was removed, uh, resolved because it was proved that they did steal the code and they came to an agreement. So uh, around here somewhere they, they settled and the two companies, Angela Game and Snail studios or what the hell ever uh, said that they are going to work together and um, they are going to blah 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 assist us blah 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 publishing efforts blah 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 so they are now friends apparently but uh, I read on another site not on this one that um, snail games are getting a sales per percentage of all of the sales from Myth of Empires. So I don't know if it's if it's 10% or or 90%. It uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, it uh, it was decided that they will be giving a percentage of the sales from Myth of Empires to wild guard studios or snail games or what the fuck ever so that is the story the game is actually um now on steam again and they are holding a playtest or are going to hold a playtest i'm not too sure the game is not for sale right now but the game was for sale for 30 dollars so we can assume that it will be at the same price unless they raise the price now because they need to give money to snail studios perhaps perhaps they will increase the price but if they do that then that's a really really shitty thing to do because um, as you can see the game had a lot of players 50,000 players at peak time is not an insignificant amount of players so from the the 50,000 players uh, statistic um, you can look at the steam charts over a year and it says that the owner's estimation is basically anywhere between uh, 250,000 and 800,000 so if you take, let's say, the, the middle, which is like 400,000, if you take 400,000 and you multiply that by $30, that equals $12 million. So this company already got more or less, either, either more or less, $12 million from the sales of this game and uh, you can see that the game was very popular there at the beginning uh, it was very very popular obviously all games die off and it was around here somewhere i'm not sure where they actually got the season desist so anyway 
Um, the game is now being relaunched. Um, even though the game received an update 22 days ago, which is really weird because you would assume when they're having a, 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 a playtest that they at least would have updated the game, but they, they haven't updated the game in 22 days. So it, it's weird that they haven't updated the game, but anyway, uh, today we're going to check out the game so uh, the the reviews and all of that kind of stuff from t more than two years ago seem positive 77 percent positive that seems positive it seems like it will be a good game i had a look at the reviews the reviews overall seem positive but there are a couple of people who are complaining about various um it would seem bias from the developers who are biased against non-chinese uh players because the game has P pvp aspects and if you look there the the, the chinese or should i say pro-chinese anti everything else like you can't even say it's anti anti west west you know anti the west like america or europe it's literally anti everything and uh, the word chinese comes up 37 times just in these couple of reviews so uh, the game apparently the, the the game developers apparently um are pro chinese which it, there's nothing wrong with being pro-Chinese, but you can't be anti everything else. And it seems like that is what's happening here. The developers are pro-Chinese, anti everything else, because there's multiple reviewers here that are saying that the developers are banning... Um, Western players and not banning Chinese players. There's literally multiple reviewers who are saying that. So, if one guy said it, then you you can't really believe it. But if multiple players are saying it, literally like five reviews out of these couple of reviews, there's actually more reviews. If you go down, there's more and more and more reviews. So only these couple of reviews that I even loaded have mentioned this and all of them say that the developers are not banning Chinese players um, which I mean it has to be true if multiple people say that like one person might have a grudge but multiple people are not going to have a grudge that is then simply a fact if multiple people say the same exact thing so that is uh, something that should be noted um, I'm not going to play PvP or at least I'm going to try to not play PvP because I don't uh, review PvP games but uh, the game does apparently have a non PvP content as well so today we are going to check that out now, um, another thing that should be mentioned is that um, when uh, the game has very, very bad settings, like if we look over a year, I can show you guys over a year, the game runs in a window. Now, you might think, why does the game run in a window? Well, uh, the developers don't really give you much of an option. So let me jump into the game over here. The uh, settings for the game are really, really, really bad. It's really terrible. So first off, um, when we look at windowed mode, uh, look at these resolution options. These are all of the resolution options that you are given. 
So the only real resolution that I see that that's like a normal resolution is um, 1920 by 1080p. That that's that's 1080p resolution. After that, there's no normal um, 16 by 9 resolution. So um, I usually game at um, uh, 2K resolution, which is uh, 1440p, and the game has no 1440p available at all. There's literally no 1440p. You can't scroll up or down or nothing like that. The game simply does not have 1440p. The game also doesn't have 4K resolution, nothing like that. The highest resolution that the game has, from what I can see, is the one that I'm playing on right now, which is uh, 1200 by 2133. That's literally the highest resolution that the game can run at, which is really fucking idiotic. So there's really, really terrible resolution options. And then on top of that, literally the highest that you can run the game at is this resolution right here that we are running the game at on top of that um when you actually switch to windowed full screen it doesn't actually work the game does not actually run at a windowed full screen on top of that bullshit when you switch to full screen mode the game runs at this resolution this one right here that we are actually running at right now so the the full screen when you switch to full screen the game goes full screen like it goes over your entire desktop but it runs at this resolution which means that uh like my my desktop i run my desktop at 4k resolution so my my native desktop resolution is 4k resolution so when you select full screen it fucks up your entire desktop or all, all of your icons because obviously 4k resolution can hold more icons than 1200p so all of your icons are bunched up and pushed to the left top of the screen and all of your windows are rearranged all of your programs are rearranged it's just really fucking idiotic so uh, full screen doesn't function the way that full screen should. Windowed mode, uh, a full screen windowed mode doesn't function the way that a full, full screen window should because literally all that it does is it pushes the window that we have right here to the top left and then the bottom right of the screen, the bottom and the, and the right of the screen shows your desktop. It is really, really fucking idiotic. I, I don't want to show you guys that because once again, like I said, it fucks up my entire desktop and my OBS recording software displays a black screen when I do that. So I, I don't want to show you guys that. You will just have to believe me. It's, it's really fucking stupid. Full screen mode doesn't function like a normal full screen and it runs at this resolution. Uh, windowed full screen uh, doesn't function. It, it basically displays a window at the top left of your screen. And then windowed mode does function, but the maximum resolution that you have is 1200p, which is fucking crazy that you have to run the game. You can't even run the game at 2K resolution. Literally, the maximum resolution in the game is 1200p which is lower than 1440p and it's much lower than 4k resolution so the resolution options are fucking abysmal really really terrible on top of that really terrible shit the game has multiple uh screen options that are in chinese so i have no idea what this is no idea what that is there are multiple that are in uh, Chinese. Multiple, multiple. 
it also looks like you can't actually turn off uh, a lot of these settings so you can't turn off there's another one over there there's another one over there another one over there there's a whole bunch of them and i have no idea what they mean uh it also looks like you can't turn off um depth of field and you can't turn off motion blur so with motion blur you can select the quality of motion blur which is four three and zero so there's no one or two it's literally zero three and four so it doesn't look like you can turn off motion blur um you also can't turn off depth of field so uh depth of field is here somewhere um I can't remember where depth of field is now, but it was here, around here somewhere. But depth of field has exactly the same options. It has zero and then three and four, which uh, it's just really, really stupid that you can't even um, turn that shit off. So anyway, um, that's that's already really bad. I mean, it's all already. Uh, it's just a really, really bad. Uh, settings and many of the settings are in chinese the shit over here as well like what the fuck is this i mean what the fuck is this this is really unacceptable in a game that on the steam page states that it is in, in english and the game is in english for like 80 percent of the game but a lot of the stuff is in chinese so it's just really really fucking stupid to be honest um so yeah otherwise than that i don't see any real issues um you see the game i have english selected and yet there's still um issues like like this shit right here so anyway um if we run into any issues uh, i just hope that it's not an issue that is in chinese because then i won't be able to fix it so um if we say any, see any issues uh, it might be an issue that is part of the chinese controls and and I, I i won't be able to fix that also here i don't know what this is i'm afraid to click it because i i don't know what what it actually is so um yeah already it's it's not good that the game has this much non-english text in it when you're paying 30 dollars for a game that advertises itself in english and says that it is in english so that's already not good uh so i i guess with that being said we can um, have a look at the stuff so there's version one latest server okay it doesn't even show how many people are on the server usually it would show how many people are on the server let's see custom server once again whole bunch of chinese stuff i don't know what that chinese text is i don't know what that chinese text is i guess i can check with my phone Let's have a look if I can quickly do that. One second. Okay, so here we go. Uh, thanks to uh, Google Images, uh, we can see that that over there is custom server. That over there is big world. That over there is single server. And then it's refresh and create server. So that's a very important one. Like I, I wouldn't have known that this button over here is create server. That's a really important uh, uh, button and it, it's in fucking Chinese. So um, yeah, uh, anyway, so at least now we know what the buttons actually mean. Uh, by the way, like I obviously said, I'm playing the game like this and uh, there's not really anything I can do about it because like I said, uh, full screen is broken and uh, 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 borderless windowed mode or, or full screen windowed mode is also broken. So uh, I guess let's create a custom server. I don't really care about other people. 
Um, let's create a custom server. Can you do it? Uh, no, I don't even know what these mean. Um, so how do you actually create a custom server? Create server. So I'm clicking on create server and uh, nothing is happening. Like there's nothing I can... I'm clicking there, nothing is happening. And then we go to big world and I don't know. Okay, so that's refresh. And this is back probably. Back, yes, okay. So uh, you can't create a uh, custom server apparently. Um, so I guess we're just going to have to play on the official servers. The, well, I should say official server because there's no servers. There's only one server. Uh, I should also mention that the game has uh, easy anti-cheat, kernel level anti-cheat. So that is something that I do not like. I don't like easy anti-cheat. Firstly, because it doesn't work. And secondly, because it is kernel level. Holy shit, why is the music so hilariously loud all of a sudden? Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn that down. Holy balls. Uh, let's see here, volume mixer. And I'm just gonna turn down the volume of the game a little bit. Like that, probably. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Wow, these this guy's nipples are so high. Look at that. Like, <laughs> look at that shit. Like, why is his nipple so high compared to the other guy's nipples? Did, did he get a breast lift? This guy got a breast lift. Is there female? Oh yes, there's female. Okay, no change in the breasts, unfortunately. Only the men get changes in the breasts. Um, okay, but I'm not gonna be male. Uh, we are gonna choose female. There's really not a lot of uh, options with regards to the, the faces, to be honest. We're gonna make ourselves as... Uh, wow. Yeah, that's uh, spicy. Spicy meatball. Let's see the men. Can they also be fat? Holy shit. That's actually very well done. Like, it's it's very well done. I, I recently played uh, 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 Pal World, and Pal World's uh, fatness thing, like, is terrible. Just terrible. I mean, look at this. This is very well done. Look at that. This might be... The best uh, character creator that I've ever seen with regards to the thinness of your character. Like, it actually shows the stomach being pulled in. And you can see the guy's visibly very, um, very thin. Okay, muscles don't do anything. Look at that. Literally. All the way to the right, all the way to the left. Like, literally, muscles don't do anything. But if you have a little bit of fat, then muscles actually do something. But I mean, even look, look at that. That is very well done. Look at that difference. This is quite honestly the best um, uh, implementation of 
uh, muscle and fat that I have ever seen. Like seriously, this is very well done. So when you're when you're very thin, there's no impact at all. But when you're like, okay, well, when you're very fat, there's also no impact. But when you're like this, then you can actually definitely see a difference. It's actually really interesting. Okay, but we're gonna make ourselves thin. And we're not gonna make ourselves very jacked. Like, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but th that's very, very impressive. So they allow you to be basically any color, but not not like weird colors, like not not green or blue or anything like that. Which I I I like it when you are able to choose your actual color. So I would like to be green or purple or any color. They should really allow you to to be any color, to be honest. Okay, uh, so this is the face, what's this, okay, so then you can do some facial changes, can you go up or down, no, you can't go up or down apparently, fix camera, free camera, no, no but they don't allow me to go up or down, literally can't fix camera and free camera that doesn't do anything oh wait 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 there we go okay so you need to use WAS and D to uh, move around okay interesting uh, okay so yeah I'm not a huge fan of making my own face like I, I usually am just happy with a uh, pre-planned face you know but it's cool that you can design your face a little bit even though the options are not very uh, impactful it's just really for the most part um, a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller you know you can't make like the joker or anything like that really it's just a little bit bigger a little bit smaller that's really all of the options so it's a little bit underwhelming and uh, let's have a look here I don't like the fact that the camera resets itself again so eyes size angle depth width Okay, nose, don't really care, don't really care. Can you make them like insane? No, you can't really make them insane. Yeah, you can't like give her like frog, frog lips or anything like that really. Okay, hairstyle, that will be important. Quality looks very good, even though I am running the game at basically the highest settings, so it should hopefully look bloody good because um, I'm running at the, the very high settings. Even though the resolution is fucking low, it's only 1200p. Also can't zoom in a good amount like like as soon as you zoom in it goes like this and then the camera fixes itself 
which I'm not a fan of. Looks like Aloy's um, hairstyle. Aloy from uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. If I can even pronounce the fucking name. There's also some hair physics. Not bad. Okay, so those are all of the hairstyles, and then obviously you get different colors, even though there's nothing like green or purple or anything like that once again. It's just very basic hairstyles, basically. There's not even anything like pink or anything interesting like that, you know? Why does the color reset when you choose a new hairstyle? That's really stupid. I don't want the color to reset. Okay, that's fine. We can't choose a beard. Eyebrows, don't really care about that. Okay, so that's the head and everything like that. I guess we are done. Oh, tattoos. Okay, so you can do tattoos apparently. Oh. Can we zoom in again? Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't exactly want to uh, zoom in right there. I want to zoom in on the bloody tattoo. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. I like the tattoos. Like, these are very high detail and everything like that. It's fucking better than the tattoos that you get in GTA 5, to be honest. Like, look at that. It's, it's nice. Don't know what these symbols mean. Don't know what any of those symbols mean. I could put in a lot of effort and translate those symbols, but uh, I'm not really in the mood. You can also move the tattoos, I see. Wow, that's really nice. So like this one, you can move it down a little bit, that kind of stuff. Spider. It's a really high detail. It's like a flower. Huge fan of the chest tattoos, so 
let's remove... How do you even remove a tattoo? Like, how do you actually remove it? Oh, over there. Okay. I had to figure that out myself. Okay, left arm. Are these tattoos exactly the same? I'm assuming they're going to be exactly the same. Yeah, probably. Can you rotate? Yes, you can rotate. Okay, let's see what I want. Snake? Spider? I mean, the, the tattoos are, are high quality and all of that, but there's not any basic ones, like just tribal tattoos or like just basic stuff. All of these tattoos are very intricate and I don't know if I want intricate tattoos. You like, just give me some basic tattoos as well, because all of these are really, really intricate. Like, just give me some regular ass tattoos. I'm gonna be very basic. I'm just gonna put a flower on the one arm, flower on the other arm. And then maybe on the legs. I have no fucking idea what that thing is. But yeah, the... The tattoo system is, is really nice, really high quality. They allow you to move it and resize it and all of that kind of stuff. But they should just add more tattoos. Like, I don't see why there aren't more, more choices of tattoos. Uh, there's like 50 tattoos, but there should be more. And all of these are just too intricate. They're really too bloody intricate. Can we move it uh, to the front of the leg? Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, that looks good. And then this other one we will also place over there. Can you flip it? Is it possible to flip it or not? That doesn't look like it's possible to flip it. Yeah, you can't flip it like to be to be uh like this instead of like that but anyway it, it's not too bad doesn't look too bad definitely I don't like the fact that it jumps to the um, the locked camera each and every fucking time it ju jumps to the locked camera. Uh, oh, and then this. Here, So even the voices are in uh, Chinese. Fantastic. Oh, for fuck's sake. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, so they, uh, they completely wipe out all of your settings if you switch genders. That's fantastic. I love that. I love that. Really fantastic job. Okay, so I have to do everything over again. Absolutely fantastic.
Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking bother with tattoos. Fuck that shit. If the developers don't want us to have tattoos, then we won't have tattoos. Okay. Uh, I think one last little touch. I'm just gonna do that over there. Don't know what this means. Don't know what that means. Let's go. I'm also gonna turn up the volume again once we get into the actual game. Fucking hell, what is all of this? How am I supposed to know what this means? Only balls. Okay, so I can zoom in, zoom out. Okay. I have no idea what any of this means over here. Uh, I'm gonna have to pull my little um, uh, translator out again. So, just one second while I do that quickly takes a couple of seconds why does the game does it free oh no it's not freezing it's just uh, the audio that falls away when i uh when i alt tab uh which is very fun let's see translate boom boom, boom. and then we got a little here and we got a little here yeah. And then, so that you guys can see it, we do this, right? Yes. Uh, can you guys see it correctly? There we go. Okay, so um, offline practice, it says at the top. And then, what's that? I can't even can see um, uh, Asia Pacific region, European region, Americas region, strength training, agility training, physical training, intellectual training, charm, practice. Why is that last one practice and not not, <laughs> not training? But okay, um, so what does that actually mean? So at the at the top left there's a bunch of regions and then strength, agility, physical, intellectual, charm. Okay, well I'm gonna have to keep this page open because I'm definitely gonna forget what it says. Um maybe I can just put it here at the bottom. Okay. Um So I, I have no idea what to do. Like what if I click on any of these? So this one, uh, you see there's tooltips over there. I have no idea what any of these tooltips mean. Literally, I have no idea what any of those tooltips mean. Uh, let's just click on one. Okay. You see, I have no idea what any of this means. Okay, apparently you can select multiple of them. Confirm? I, I, I have no idea. Like, I have no idea what any of this does. Um... Why can't I even click on this? I can't click on any of these. Like these two tips don't make any sense because like as soon as I go over it, it disappears and all of them disappear. Okay, so what if I refresh? Like, I'm clicking on these, nothing is happening. Let's 
Zedong Prefecture is not open. Not open. Not open. Not open. Okay, let's have a look over here. Ah, okay, so I click over there. Now it's showing Mi Feng Pre Prefecture. A Dao Prefecture. Are these servers? Okay, so I I guess they are servers. So PvP, PvP, and then there's two, three PvEs over there. Um, let's cancel the Asia and the America, and then just leave the European ones open. So these are then that that over there says Europe. Um, should actually look which has the lowest ping. Can I do that? So 300 and a thousand ping. Okay, so we're not going to take that one. This one, 100, okay, 220, 240. And then over here, it's much higher actually. So here it's like 200, uh, here it's like 300 and something. So it seems these ones have the lowest ping. And then I just need to choose a PvE server. Um, PvE... Holy shit, a thousand! How the hell is the ping a thousand all of a sudden? Okay, so I don't want any PvP servers let's take pve servers this one has the least people so i guess that one i guess so so uh, it seems like right now there's no offline play and there's no single player play either um which is shitty like when I pay $30 for a game, I want to be able to play the way the game, uh, play the game the way I want to. I want to play offline, I want to play solo content, single player content. And uh, it just seems like there's no option for that right now. Uh, there might be in the future, but right now there isn't, and I have to uh, um, judge the game on the content that uh the game has right now and and the quality of the game right now so i have no idea what any of these mean like i don't know are, are any of these more difficult or more dangerous these are birth locations which i'm assuming is like spawn locations so if we zoom out on the map okay so that's top right Middle right, bottom right, top right, so that's bottom right, that's top right, do we want to go for top right or bottom right, well if you look at top right this entire area is, it looks barren, it looks a little bit barren, and there's only two water sources that I can see. Um, so if we look at uh, this one, there's literally a lot of water. And it's at the bottom right, which means, like, I'm just thinking, uh, thinking ahead. Which means you can't be attacked from this side or this side, really. I'm, I'm assuming there might be other players. I'm assuming there might be PvP zones or stuff like that. So I think maybe starting over here will be 
pretty good maybe we could also start centrally um that looks like maybe a city over there can we actually zoom in yeah it looks like buildings and stuff like that might be a city of some sort so starting near a city might be nice as well neutral camp Uh, let's start at the neutral camp. Why not? Enter game. We get fucking blinded. No, uh, recommended for novice players. Novice players can get a better experience at the beginning and adapt to the game sooner. Effect. Player can revive at the spot of death. Unavailable in normal mode. Recommended choice. Give up. What the fuck does that mean? You can already see this game is going to have a lot of English in it. Uh, okay. Recommended choice, I guess. Um, classic mode. No, I don't like direct directional attacks. I'm definitely not a fan of, of directional attacks. Right click to block. Release left attack to attack. Release left attack to, atta to attack. Press left button to block. Why would you block with left button? That sounds fucking stupid. Okay, so we're definitely going to take that one. Okay, why does the game... Oh, there we go. The game feels very zoomed in. Okay, let me just put the audio back to the point where it was because I lowered the audio in my window settings. Okay. Okay, so there's a fucking animation on collecting as well. Which is really crazy. Uh, press I to open inventory. You can choose expertise according to the flashing button. Lumbering. Holy shit, level 900. Does the game actually have that many levels? What's that? Increase expertise. I don't know. I guess so. The tutorial is telling me to do that. I don't know what it does. Missions. Select the, select the skill you want as ex expertise. Okay, I did, did that claim. Select the skill as expertise. I did that. Collect grass, 50. Okay, I guess so. Mail. Dear players, thank you for par participating. If you have any suggestions. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, musical instruments. Level 25, level 25. Well, I can't use that. What's the point of giving me items if I can't use it? Okay, I also hate games that have expiring... Um, Mail. Okay, I just pressed U instead of I and I whistled. Uh, the game also has a um, satiety system, which I don't like. I don't like those types of systems. Uh, log territory, nobility. No fucking idea what that means. Events, achievements, arts, cruelty, heavy hitting, kingslayer, bravery, resilient will, honorable fighter. No idea what any of this means. Art provocation. 
art of improvements, art of strategy. Only balls. Subordinates, mount, beast lord. No idea what that is, no idea what that is. How can they release a game to the Western um, audience with uh, shit like this? If we encounter quests that have Chinese text, then I'm going to shit a brick. Can we craft? No, straw, rope. Straw, rope, grass. Okay, so we need a lot of grass. Okay. Um, it's really difficult to see what you can loot and what you can't loot. You can, you can loot while moving. Is this an actual player? Well, I, I can't interact with it, so... I really hate this um, animation. Also, if you keep on running, you don't pick it up. So, you press E, and then the thing that you're looking at, at that point when the animation finishes, that is the thing that you pick up. And if you're not looking at anything when the animation finishes, then you don't pick up anything. So, I, I fucking hate this animation. Like, look at this. It takes like three seconds to do the single thing due to this animation. So you have to run, stand still, run, press E, 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 stand still. It's so fucking useless. It's really bad. Oh, you can harvest that one multiple times. So bushes you can you can harvest multiple times. And then the, the bush bursts apart. Like you fucking hit it with a nuclear weapon. Not weed herb. Grass. Locust. Once again, nuclear weapon. It's also difficult to see what you're looting, but that little thing, like, if you just look quickly, it's difficult to see what you're actually looting. They should have made it much more evident to show what you're actually looting. So if you spam E, I'm fucking spamming E, then you loot a little bit faster. If you literally spam E. Yeah, then you do it much faster. Also, sometimes you get two experience and other times you get eight experience. So, why the hell do you gain two experience and then other times you gain 400% more experience? How, how does that make any sense? Okay, press X to claim a reward. Craft a straw rope. Open inventory. Boom. Uh, how do you... Okay, craft. Craft more. Confirm. Okay, can you run around while crafting? Can you do it while crafting? Yes, you can, apparently. Okay, so it, the crafting does take time, which is something that I don't like. Uh, especially if it takes like five seconds per craft. That's one thing that I really fucking hate in Pal World. Because in Pal World, you can spend upwards of a minute crafting a single item sometimes. So, um, if you're going to be crafting multiple items, that's going to be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes of your life fucking wasted. So, at least this game allows you to do other stuff while crafting so at least this game so far with the crafting system is better than pal world even though 
that's not a big achievement because Pal World's crafting system is fucking abysmal. Okay. Press X to claim, press X to claim. Craft stone X. Right click craft. Uh, I should also point out they, I, they didn't tell me how to craft. I literally just had to figure out that I have to right click on, on something to craft it. Right click craft. I don't think we need the torch right now. Crafting recipes. Uh, how do you learn to? What is this tool? Campfire. Okay, campfire. And then there's multiple things. Wooden foundation. I guess we're going to need that. Uh, defensive building, simple stronghold, wooden chest, we're gonna need chests, we're gonna need a bedroll probably, wooden fence, fence door frame, uh, I can't get these, level 6, weapon, full arm, crude bow, stone arrows, uh, doesn't say how many stone arrows are crafted for one straw, one branch, one rubble, so I'm assuming it's probably one, which would be really bad because one one arrow for three resources is a little bit insane. Throwing stone. Pull arm. Perhaps we should just get the pull arm. But isn't there anything else just like, like these ones? Simple one-handed weapon. Hmm. It also shows there's different attacking directions, which, yeah, I'm not a fan of. Perhaps you should go for the bow and just kite everything. Kiting is really powerful, usually, in games. Also, can we just... Oh, no, wait, what's this here at the bottom? Recipe learning points. Okay, so you, have, you can't just fucking learn everything. You, you are limited by the amount of points that you have. We're gonna need that. Food, crude ointment, I guess we're gonna need that. I guess we're gonna need this eventually. Okay, so... Yeah, that's that then, I guess. Uh, add stone axe to sidebar. Stone axe, sidebar, stone hammer, sidebar. Uh, oh no, wait, that's wrong. That one there. That one there. And anything else? I guess we need a campfire. Okay, uh, collect branch. Where do I get branches? From here? Oh, I just kicked. You can kick with F. Okay, spam, 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 spam. Fucking mashing my E key. Okay, but that gives... Uh, barley, wheat. Rain. Yeah, I'm not getting branches from these. Okay, let's see where's branches. I do pick up branches at the at the on the ground. Let's see X and then Aya. Aya. Okay, so if you hold, if you hold the button, this happens. So. Literally, then you release, and if you just click normally, this happens. So yeah, I'm just gonna click like a motherfucker. Select. Does this then? Can you can you chop this into pieces? Oh no, it disappears. Okay. So as soon as it falls down, it disappears. Uh, there's another game that I played. Oh, that was Enshrouded. Actually, by the way, I will be uh, playing Enshrouded again. I actually bought the game today, literally today, when it released. 
Um, so I will definitely be playing Enshrouded again, even though I already played Enshrouded for like three hours on my channel, but still, um, I will be doing Enshrouded. In Enshrouded, um, you chop down a tree, and then the tree falls on the ground, and you can chop the tree. I've seen other games do that as well, but um, it's just interesting that uh, this game doesn't do that. Like, this game, once it falls on the ground... Oh, uh, that's it, basically. Okay, so let's chop the stone, I guess, to get rubble. Okay, connect. And uh, connect my quest. Craft and place campfire. Okay, I will do that in a second. How much weight do we have? Are we are we limited by weight? Where's the weight? Ah, there we go. Twenty-three out of one fifty. Okay, so the weight is actually uh, relatively forgiving. I I don't like games that are too restrictive on um, the weight. Like some games are just hilariously restrictive seems this game at least isn't isn't too restrictive even though i sh probably shouldn't speak too soon because we will see once we like start mining and stuff like that we might see that some of them the metals and the ores and that kind of stuff might might be a little bit too heavy maybe um okay we're still pretty pretty low that's good um okay craft and place campfire so where do we actually want to place our campfire so i'm assuming we're gonna need water i'm assuming is that oh, there's another player over there maybe or is it the quest i don't know uh the game's tutorial is really bad so far oh, who the fuck are all, all of these people just lying all over the place look at this Like, <laughs> there's just people all over the fucking place. What's happening? Why are all of them lying on the ground? Is it some kind of an exploit that I'm not aware of yet? Or why? It's just really weird. Here's another one. It's definitely players, because look at the name, Paddy. It's not even capitalized, whereas those ones are capitalized. Why, why did I just leave a bloody footprint on the ground? I just left a bloody footprint, footprint on the ground for some reason. Uh, so, I, I mean, I can make my home anywhere, I guess. Yeah, there's enough water here. Uh, here's another one. Uh, it looks like there's enough wood. There's enough stone. Yeah, this isn't a bad area. There's more people on the ground. Also, it doesn't look like the game has sprinting. Can I attack you? It, it shows red above your head. Is that bad? What what will happen if I attack you? Will I die? The animals are actually really detailed, like really high quality. Are you alive? Can I loot you? Look at all of these people. These are definitely people. I mean, look at the name. But like, why are why is everyone on the ground? Uh, I've heard good things about you. Are you brave enough to accept my channel challenge? You earn some amazing rewards if you beat me. But eh, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Okay, well it would be useful if you told me a little bit more. Exhibit skills. No, wait. Let's first get some skills before we start to exhibit our skills. There's a horse over there. Pirate merchant. Coachman. Cross server teleport. I can help you move your things to neighboring county. 
put your items or warriors and horses into the cart make sure to pick them up at a destination or i'll charge a fee if you take too long i might get impatient and throw your belongings away okay so apparently you can jump servers which is actually something you don't see in these types of games there's a guy up there there's fucking Hutzelwerg over here Shakaju over here Taj over here like why is everyone like on the ground seemingly dead like what's going on there's a flag over there there's something weird over there what is that some kind of a green cube or something like i want to uh, here's another dude uh i want to uh hold my base if i can at like a place is that level level 11 or what is that can i attack you Um, I'm a little bit afraid to attack it. I might die, but okay, let's let's have a look. is getting pissed off okay so i managed to kill the piggy um, why can't i loot the piggy oh okay we have to slash it And then, how much did I actually get from that? So I got two raw meat, two bone, and one crude hide. From that entire pig. Like, that's fucking very little. Really. That's very little. I see my fullness is going down really quickly. Why is it going down so hilariously quickly? Like, look at that. I'm losing one fullness every, like, five seconds. Can I, like, eat any of this kind of stuff? Can I, can I eat a locust? Gastrotoxicity. You may be poisoned if you eat it raw. Okay, so I guess I should place my, uh, um, campfire. So you get two pieces of meat from a bloody bowl. I'm not seeing like, like, um, all of these are rocks. I'm not seeing iron ore or, uh, gold or, or anything like that anywhere, really. There's more people on the ground here. But this place has a nice amount of stone. So I think I can come here. Are these guys... Oh, those are enemies. Immediately it shows their level above their head. Then I'm going to assume they're, they're enemies. Uh, okay, so let's uh, see if we can place our campfire here. I'm not sure how to place it yet. Um... Craft and place campfire, okay? Then a five. Uh, building is forbidden in 
the area near neutral camp. Okay. So apparently I can't build over here. So we're just gonna run until we see an area where we can actually build. Oh, my thing went away. Like what? What is the area of neutral camp? Stronghold, neutral camp. So do we have to go to the other side? Are all of those? Yeah, those look like um, people. Places where people have built, maybe. Now, I don't want to build in such a populated place, but if I go to the mountain, building on a mountain is difficult because it, it's not flat. Like the entire place is not flat. So that will be difficult to build over there. That the dude over there. Like, is this someone's place? I'm assuming. Territory banner. Okay, some kind of a Russian player, maybe. Yeah, they, these are definitely um, people's uh, buildings and stuff. Too close to enemy building. Okay, you see, now that pisses me off because if I were playing on a offline single player game, then the shit wouldn't happen because now it's affecting my gameplay. You know, I, I can't build where I want to build because uh, it's now... Uh, it's now blocking me. Uh, okay, another German. Um, I almost said German. Another Russian one. Another Russian one. Old farts. Definitely not Russian. Zordi. Okay, so I can build a year, but who the fuck wants to build a year when you're surrounded by people? You're, you're not going to be able to expand your base at all. Like, I want a nice place to build. Look at that. All the fucking way down the, the river. It's just people. All the way that side. Just people, people, people. So perhaps we should go... You know, see, even over there there's people. I'm really not a fan of this. Fucking hell. Can we swim? Not sure if we can actually swim. So let's see if we can swim. Can you go down? Okay, you can do that glitch. Literally the same glitch as in uh, Fallout. Was it Fallout 4? And in Skyrim, you can do this. Where you, where you literally angle your camera a certain way. Like this, and then you can see without the distortion effect of the water. So it's interesting that this game has literally the same glitch or exploit as um, Fallout 4 and uh, whatchamacallit. What will happen if I actually like, uh, if the swimming bar thing runs out? Let's see. Holy fuck, look at my health. What kind of bullshit is that? That's really stupid. That's fucking stupid. Okay, so I can't build anywhere here. I'm going to have to build over on that side. Yeah, I see there's already a couple of people who built over there, but uh, but 
what can you do? It's at least better than that fucking side. That side is like so populated. So you have to choose your location where you're gonna cross, where you're gonna swim. Uh, very carefully. Sprinting doesn't do anything, by the way. I'm not swimming any faster. Uh, you have to choose your location where you're gonna, gonna cross very, very carefully because uh, if you choose a location that, like, if the river is too wide, you're gonna die. Which is just the stupidest mechanic I've ever seen, but anyway. Okay, let's see. There's campfires over there, which... Ah, over here. Cool, cool, cool. So we can build here, but it's against an angle. So that's gonna... See, already, construction area is blocked. That's gonna be an issue. So I can maybe build a little bit more over to this direction. Because I don't want to be too far from the camp, but they don't allow you to build literally at the camp. And this, this is a slope, but it's not a terrible slope. It's not so terrible, even though there's no trees over it. Well, there's a couple of trees over there, but... For the most part, no trees and no rocks. So this area is not as good as it was in there, there in the middle, but you can't build there anymore. So you literally aren't given a whole lot of choices. This doesn't look too bad. It's near the water. There's stones, there's not many trees, but I mean, if we build up there, then we're just going to be away from the water more, so. Okay, let's just fucking place it here. Don't care that much. Uh, then, open inventory. Okay, well, first, claim a reward. Uh, put branches or grass in the campfire, fuel, blah, blah, blah. Branch, grass. Boom. Trigger. Locusts. Boom. Uh, how do you make skewered locust? What? How do you do it? It over here. Ah. Okay. Um, I guess uh, craft all, I guess. I don't know. Fucking have to eat locusts. But that's the only thing we can eat right now. Scorpion, toad, freshwater fish, raw meat. I do have meat. But that's level 10. Can I even craft it? Hmm, apparently I can craft it. Uh, oh, and I do have a scorpion and I have a toad. Uh, well, it just... Oh, fuck. Both of them just disappear. I really don't like it that food disappears. But anyway. Nothing we can do about it, I guess. Grilled meat. Okay, expires in 12 hours. Okay, that's a good amount. And then... Grilled meat. Okay, we are getting music all of a sudden, for some reason. Oops. Okay, apparently we can close the fire. What the fuck? Okay, let's eat something, I guess. See, you're even losing health. Like, why... 
Why am I losing health? Is it because of my fullness or what's what's happening? I just ate something. Let's eat a piece of meat. See, now my fullness is going up. Now it's going down again. Let's eat something else. Oh, you can't eat something when you're inventory is open okay so that's also really fucking stupid you literally die um you run out of uh uh fullness which is really shitty like i don't mind uh survival mechanics that much uh, if they are like uh, some games are um, if you if you get low on on your fullness then you might suffer a um, debuff you know like your stamina might regenerate a little bit slower or um, you might run a little bit slower or anything like that but when you fucking take damage from not having full hunger like that that is really fucking stupid i don't like that in the slightest uh okay learn basic weapon crafting I guess we can learn these. We have enough uh, skill points, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I can't learn that yet. It's level 10. Uh, crude pull arm throwing rock. Okay, so they're forcing me to learn those. That's really stupid, but anyway. Uh, learn that one. Crude pull arm. Since you're forcing... Oh, uh, they're only forcing me... No, no, no. They're, they're forcing me to build it as well. So you, you're not just forced to learn it. You're forced to build it as well. So wooden spear and ten throwing stones. Um, wooden spear. Craft one. Throwing stones. Craft. Then Then okay, three more stones. Select the reward, select the reward. Uh, craft wooden armor, craft wooden helm, wooden greaves. rope okay so we need quite a lot more let's do that then we need bark 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 okay so we need a lot of bark uh, where's my axe why do i have low quality soybean over here Why was my axe replaced with that? No, that doesn't make any sense. Definitely didn't do that. Hi. 
pretty sure the tree just yeeted to the side. tree actually like took more hits than the the massive bloody tree how does that make any sense i'm also out of crickets and food so i need to probably uh, get food somewhere i think you just pick up the crickets from like um grass basically Let's have a look. okay so they want me to create one of each what's this I don't have a use for clay right now, so we might get that later. Wow, it takes 30 seconds to craft one of these pieces like the the helmet and the greaves and the chest 30 seconds each Hunt animals and use axe to gather resources. Hunt rabbits or other animals and gather meat. Well, I already did that, but uh, apparently I have to do that again. Equip. 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 How do I equip a weapon? Oh, I probably put it over here. Ah, there we go. And what else? I have rocks. How the fuck? Like, do you just throw the rock? What? You can sharpen its edges with pebbles to increase its damage. Material easy to come by. Okay, so you just throw it. Just fucking throw it. What's that over there? Like, look at that. What's that Chinese character right there? Something 10. Like, what? What the fuck does that help me? Like, how am I supposed to know? It's on, on all of these, and then over there at the bottom it, it says another Chinese thing, like what? This fucking game is filled with Chinese letters. I guess we need to build a bedroom, maybe? I guess we need to build foundation eventually what's the difference between a normal wooden foundation and a large wooden foundation because the large one takes a lot of a lot more stuff i guess let's build one i'm not gonna build a whole, not, whole bunch of them they're too expensive Okay, so there's my bedroll. And I probably need to collect more um, locusts.
the swimming mechanic is so idiotic. The fact that you can die from swimming. Ah, there again, some more locusts. Let's go throw them on the fire. Because already my my uh, hunger is nearing like 70%. Why do I need to repair it? Natural decay rate, 4% per hour. Why? Why does it fucking de decay? Why only two? Oh, it takes four locusts each. Holy shit. Four locusts each. Don't know that it takes that much. And then one, how much does one give? Increases fullness by 12. Now that's not a lot. Uh, okay, let's see. Large wooden foundation. Six. Construction area is blocked. Of course it is. You see, this is the problem with a mountain. If the game doesn't give you a way to build it properly, like to raise raise it, or if the game doesn't um, naturally adjust the building, then the slightest little fucking imperfection in the ground is going to cause you not to be able to build it. So I can't I can't build anywhere here. Literally it doesn't allow me to build anywhere. I might be able to build down here by the water, but who the fuck wants to build down by the water? Ah there there we go. So I can build there. But then I can't build here, I can't build here. So you're you're screwing yourself by building by the water. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, how do you pick up a building? Like I can, I can open the building, but then I, I, I don't know how to pick up the building. I don't think you can pick up the building. I, I don't see any way to, to pick up the building. What's that? I just got two things which I, I don't even know what I got. I have no idea what that was. Unlock that. Put a ladder. I need level 10 for that. I already have a spear. Talent and skill. Where, where's my expertise points? Physique. Wall climbing. Can climb walls when not wearing equipment. That's fucking stupid. Why do you need to take your equipment off? Just in order to, to climb. That's so stupid. Like, I have no idea. Look at all of this text over here. I have no idea what it means. Like, seriously, this game has such a hilarious amount of Chinese text in it. And yet, 
on Steam they advertise the game as as being available in English. Like I seriously I don't think you can play as as a Westerner someone doesn't speak Mandarin. Um I don't think you will be able to play this game because there's a lot of intricacies, uh, skills and talent points and passives and a lot of buildings that are going to have Chinese text on it and shit like that. And uh, if you don't understand it, if you can't read it, then you're screwed. It's also really stupid that a lot of these skills are like level 15, level 20. So, like, right now, I can't spend my skills on any of this. None of this, 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 none of this. Here I can spend one. Okay. Nothing else. None of this, none of this. Here I can spend one. But it's the fucking stupidest thing on earth where you can climb a wall, but not if you wear equipment, which is hilariously idiotic. Nothing, 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 nothing. So I've been playing um, almost two hours and I can't spend any skills except on this I thing, that I thing. Um, so yeah, and I'm level nine already. So I'm level nine and I can only spend one thing on this thing, uh, which allows you to see the quality of a warrior, which I've no fucking idea what that means. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like, a lot of this stuff is much higher, requires skill level 800, requires character level 55, requires copper, copper coins, required 90,000. Like, why does it require money to have these things? Oh, 170,000 copper coins. Like, fucking hell. I've never seen a game where you have to spend in-game money to acquire perks and passives and stuff like that, like, seriously. And yeah, like I said, the, the uh, fullness system, the, the survival system in the game is brutal and it's something that you're going to have to manage constantly from the beginning till the end you're gonna have to worry about your fullness and if you let your fullness get too low you start taking damage not even when your fullness reaches zero it, it's like like it says there uh, fullness drops to zero you will continuously lose hp but my my health dropped before my fullness even reached zero then I started eating locusts and still my, my health dropped. I was still losing health. Until my full, fullness reached like 20. Then I stopped dro get, uh, dropping health. So the fullness system is brutal and it's unavoidable. It's not like other games where you can turn it off or anything like that. You literally can't do that. And then on top of that, the swimming system is really fucking stupid because you lose health if you swim for too long so you can literally die from swimming uh, the building system is really stupid because they don't even allow you to build like you can't build anywhere where there is the slightest little bump in the terrain you can't build there if there's the slightest little imperfection in the terrain. Uh, the tutorial is terrible. The game doesn't really have a tutorial. It, it has these little stupid um, quests. I mean, it's essentially quests at the top. And uh, that's it. 
like that's you, you literally have to do what the little quest things do uh say but none of the actual actions in here are explained like even something as simple as dragging your stuff to your bar they don't show you how to do that they just tell you do it they, they don't show you how to do it the same with crafting i had to figure out on my own that you have to right click on something in order to get this menu to open uh, the tutorial doesn't tell you any of that um so the tutorial the, the game doesn't have have a tutorial i can't even say that the tutorial is shit because um the game has no tutorial can i use other people's stuff no apparently not also the fact that um your buildings decay four percent per hour is uh, really fucking stupid so if it's a hundred percent so that's uh 20 25 so in 25 hours literally 20 basically 24 hours of you not playing the game your entire base will be destroyed because it's four percent per hour so if you log out for 24 hours you come back your entire base will be destroyed so you constantly have to repair your base like i i now literally have to repair my campfire that i placed over there it doesn't allow you to um like pick up the building or anything like that either which is really fucking stupid you you have to be able to deconstruct in these types of games and yet in this game they don't allow you to do that so here i can build a little bit at least even though as you can see like you have to be really really precise i can't build anywhere over here you need a really low ground like pretty much straight ground and then you can build you can't build otherwise so like here i can build but once again it's close to the water like i would like to be able to build way up there but they, they you can't you simply will not be able to do that so i guess we can like build here i guess and then i can place my bedroll like that you see i already need to repair my bed And the foundation as well. Look at that. Repair. I already have to repair it. And my bed as well. My bed needs seven grass, three branch, and two bark. Which means that even when the items are in your inventory, they take damage. Which is fucking idiotic. Like, even the items in your inventory take damage. The building items. I'm not even talking about food. Food also takes damage. Like, uh, food degrades, which is another thing that I don't like. But even if you build any of these things and it's in your inventory, it still takes damage. Like, it, it, it literally takes damage. Which... Yeah, like fucking hell. It's just not a a chill game that you can just play and collect and build and expand and stuff like that. You constantly have to fight against hunger. Constantly have to fight against the natural decay of stuff you're constantly gonna have to be repairing your stuff like look at this guy's bedroll it's already 1140 out of 1540 so it already has lost 400 durability so this guy has been offline for a couple of hours and it's already 400 dur durability gone so like I don't know, it's just a, a bunch of unnecessary 
obtuse mechanics in the game that make the game not fun it doesn't make it more enjoyable it just makes it more obtuse the game is just way too obtuse to be fun and enjoyable i mean you lose health while swimming if you swim for too long how fucking stupid is that you can't build where you want to build there's a lot of areas that are restricted and then on top of that bullshit you can't build on any kind of incline or or accent or anything like that um and like i said on top of that fucking most of the game is gonna have chinese characters on it so you're not gonna know what a lot of the shit it does like you're you're just like this shit right here what does any of this mean i have no fucking idea like it's just yeah like it's just uh, unacceptable like if i were able to understand this shit i i probably wouldn't care but i can't understand it and the game is marketing itself in the waste and yet um a lot of the game isn't in english so uh yeah and that's in addition to all of the other many issues like i already said at the beginning uh, the game doesn't have a functional full screen mode uh, the game doesn't have many resolution options like many resolution options are missing the highest resolution that you can run the game at is 1200p so you can't even run the game at 1440p which is 2k resolution you can't run the game at 4k resolution many of the uh 10 by or uh, six is it 16 by 10 and 16 by 9 uh display options are are missing um a lot of the 4x3 options are missing so even if you want to play the game in 4x3 uh, aspect ratio you're not going to be able to do that uh it doesn't look like you can turn off motion blur and um uh what's the other one motion blur and depth of field you can't turn off a lot of the options are in chinese in the settings menu as well uh so yeah like uh, fucking paying 30 dollars for this game is just something that i i can't recommend um Perhaps in the future they will fix all of this bullshit. Perhaps in the future they will actually do some effort and remove all of the Chinese text, translate everything. Uh, the game must have better um, resolution options before I can recommend it. The game must have a functioning full screen mode and a functioning windowed full screen mode before i can recommend it at the moment it does not uh, so there's just a lot of things that have to happen before i can come even close to rec recommending that you spend 30 dollars on the game right now there's no fucking way how i can do that so um yeah <laughs> it, it's not looking good to be honest so the game releases i th think into early access on the 21st of um february which is just so fucking happens to be the day of my birthday which is interesting it's also the day that last epoch um releases which i will definitely be playing as well so last epoch and this game releases on the 21st uh, they actually say on the steam page that they will be releasing into version 1.0 so that means the game is not even releasing into early access the game is actually fully releasing on the 21st of february which is interesting 
because in my opinion there's still a shitload of stuff that they need to fix but okay anyway um yeah but like i said i can't recommend the game at all right now and the game releases in less than a month literally less than a month they have to fix all of this bullshit and uh Quite honestly, I do not see how they are going to be able to do that. So, uh, I can't recommend the game. So, yeah. Maybe in the future, maybe in a year, maybe two years down the line, they will be able to fix all of this bullshit. But, um, yeah, right right now, there's no way how I can how I can recommend the game. Not, not, not even close. So, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it um thanks to the developer for giving me access to the game uh but yeah uh, in the cases where i do not receive access to a game or a key from a developer in those cases i rely on you guys heavily on you guys to um show your support on my patreon page i use the money from my patreon page to buy more games and to do more reviews for you guys so i for instance in the past couple of months bought um uh, uh pal world i i didn't receive a key for pal world so i bought i bought pal world uh, to do a review on it, I bought um, Helldivers 2, which is releasing in like two weeks from now. So I will be playing and reviewing Helldivers 2 as well. Uh, that was an expensive game. I think that game was $40 or something like that. Uh, Pal World, I think, was $30 as well. Um, so it's a lot of money. Like in the past month month and a half i spent 140 dollars on games um to do reviews um on the channel so uh, it's something that i wouldn't be able to do without your support so i really do appreciate the support on patreon and if you like the content that i do then that is the best way to support the channel i get pretty much 95 percent of the donations uh, like uh, Patreon takes like a small percentage and then there's also a transfer fee um, but yeah I, I take I get pretty much 95% of the, the donations from Patreon so yeah guys that is pretty much it I might check out the game in a year or two like I say I'm definitely not going to check out the, this game in a month when it releases on 21st february because there's no fucking way how they are going to be able to fix everything that is broken in the game in a month's time so it, it i would not be able to recommend the game even in a month so um i might check the game out again in a year or two maybe then I might be able to recommend the game, so we'll check the game out in a year or two again. Hopefully they can improve on a lot of stuff like allowing you to create your own server, allowing you to play offline, allowing you to customize the options of the server so that you can remove the bullshit de degrading system, the decay system, uh, remove the hunger system, all of that unnecessary bullshit that just makes the game more obtuse and less fun hopefully you will be able to remove it you you can remove it in games like conan exiles for instance which is a very similar game to this um uh what's that uh, uh, other game the front the front i also did a review on you can remove those shitty options in those games you can customize your server to remove those options but not in this game so i really don't think i will be able to recommend this game ever if they don't allow you to remove those kinds of things um but yeah guys 
that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys next time.